So, from year 3, we need to add the principal amount and the interest. So, we have 629,856 multiplied by 8%. So, the total amount is 50,000. 388.48 So in our last year or the year 5 So again, we need to add the principal amount of year 4 and then the interest So we have 4,419.56 And then we need to total it. And now we need to add all of this from year 1 to year 5. So we have 40,000. Add 43,200. Add 46,656. Add 50,388.48 centavos. And then 54,419.56 centavos. So we get a total of 234,664.04 Okay, so this is how we uh, compute manually our compound interest. For the straight computation, right? So we have five hundred thousand multiplied one at our rate, which is eight percent. So we use one zero eight and then divide by one, and then close it, and then raise to five. the same amount from the manual and then from straight computation.
our present value of single amount so we will compute it reverse which is what we call discounting right so we need to compute for year three two and one so we have 1.08 raised to 3 which is year 3 so we have 1.25 12 okay so for year 2 we have 1.08 raised to 2 Yan. So, we have 1.1664 and for the year 1, we have 1.08 raised to 1. So, we have 1.08 and then we need to compute it. So, we have 1.2597 for year 3 multiplied by 1,200. So we have 1,511.65 which is the future value for year 3. Alright, so next we have 1.1664 multiplied by 1,400. So we have 1,632.96 which is the future value for year 2. And then we have 1.08 multiplied by 1,000 pesos which is 1080 so if we add all the future value from year 3 up to 1 so we have 1511.65 cents add 1632.96 and 96 cents add 1080 pesos then this is the total of future value which is 4,224 and 61 cents.